What's up you guys? It's Pokegirl7 here and in today's video we're doing the Johto throwback challenge in Pokemon Go. So this is going to be a nine part special research quest based around the Johto region. It's much like the Kanto throwback challenge except we get some different things to do in the quest, different rewards, and the main reward is going to be a Ho-Oh and we can try to get a shiny Ho-Oh. So that's going to be the goal today. We're going to finish this research and while we're at it we're going to hunt some of the special Johto spawns that came with this event. For example right now we have the Pikachu with the Umbreon hat. So this can actually be shiny. It's a lot like the Charizard hat Pikachu for the Kanto event. So that's going to be a shiny hunt that we're going to do. And also we're looking for a shiny Dunsparce, which is the newest shiny release in Pokemon Go. And then, yeah, we're going to see how much we get done on that research today. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so it appears we're on part one. And right now it needs me to send a gift to a friend. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Lately, I've noticed that my buddy Pokemon has been bringing me gifts from nearby Pokestops. So I haven't even had to go around to different Pokestops very much to get gifts lately so that really helps with that part and now we're done with part one and we're gonna see what the special encounter is gonna be for this we got a Dunsparce that could have been shiny I really hope I get a shiny Dunsparce before this event ends um, I'm a few days late on starting this event I haven't really been out to play in a few days so I'm hoping that didn't cause me to lose the chance of getting a shiny Dunsparce so you just never know though I might get lucky uh, either from home or just when I'm out right now we'll see but let's check the IVs on that pretty good three stars not bad and now we need to claim all the rewards for part one and we're gonna have another surprise encounter I'm assuming it's gonna be a bunch of rare Johto encounters just like last week with the Kanto research so let's see oh we got a Zatu so yeah that is an evolved Johto region Pokemon I think that's what they're all gonna be is like a bunch of rare evolved forms and the end goal is that ho -Oh, and I'm really hoping I get the shiny but we'll see so now we're on part two and it says to play with your buddy Pokemon give your buddy three treats and catch a bug type Pokemon so that's a piece of cake uh, I don't see any bug types right here but we do have some of the nearby uh, we have a spinner rack over there so that shouldn't be too hard to find but first let's play with that buddy Pokemon so I'm gonna play with my new shiny Alolan Ninetales Guys, I had my Safari Zone St. Louis event. No, not St. Louis, sorry. <laughs> Safari Zone Philadelphia. I had that event the other day. Um, I didn't make a vlog because I decided it was the last Safari Zone event this year that I'm gonna be able to enjoy. So I wanted to just do it off camera and kind of play the event to myself. But I did play that event and I ended up getting a bunch of cool shinies. And one of the shinies that I got was a shiny Alolan Vulpix. I actually ended up getting three of those and two of them were back to back. So it was really cool. So I'm really happy to have this. I just realized I don't have AR Plus mode on. So this looks really weird. But anyways, what else did it say to do? Uh, I fed the buddy. Am I supposed to play with it now? I can't remember. Let's just give it a little pet there. Oh yeah, that's what we were supposed to do. Okay. All right, so we got those completed and now we need to go find a bug type Pokemon next. But now we're gonna claim this reward. And it's going slow. It's a Spinarak. Okay, that's gonna help me a lot. I don't have to go find a bug type Pokemon. How weird, that's so convenient. <laughs> I'm sure they planned that, but uh, this event is really easy to complete from home. I really think most people probably completed this from home. The only reason I'm really out and about filming it is because it's safe, there's no people around, and I just needed some fresh air. But by all means, if you need to complete this at home, it seems very possible. We got pretty good IVs on that. We got three stars, and now we finished part two just like that, and we have another rare encounter. I'm excited to see what this one's gonna be. Come on! Ooh, Pineco, another shiny potential, but that one was not shiny. Okay, so now we're on part three, and it says to make three great throws, hatch an egg, and catch a normal type Pokemon. So let's try to get those great throws in right now. It's really good because it doesn't have to be all in a row. Sometimes when it says three great throws in a row, that's really hard. So, oh, we missed the great throw. That looked like it was gonna be one. That's kind of a small Pokemon. I may need to find a bigger one. Let's try it again. Let's keep using Pokeballs so it'll keep jumping out and I might have more than one chance. Ooh, we got a great throw on that one. I hope it jumps out and we can get all three great throws on this one Cyndaquil. And it jumped out, so let's try to get another great throw. We got great throw number two. Are we gonna get three in a row? Okay, so the Cyndaquil actually stayed in the ball that time, so let's try to get a third great throw on this Totodile. Come on, we did it. We did it all on the Johto starters. Piece of cake. Now we need to hatch an egg and catch a normal type Pokemon.
All right, so now we're looking at part four. This one says to evolve a Pokemon, catch five different species of Pokemon, and catch a ghost type Pokemon. So we have a Mistreefus right here. I think this is gonna be my ghost type Pokemon, and it's gonna be the fifth different species that I needed. So that's gonna be very helpful. Kill two birds in one stone. And then we need to evolve something that's gonna be really quick too. Before we do the evolution, we have a Dunspar shiny check. No shiny on that one. So what we're looking for on this is in replacement of that bluish green color, it's going to be more of a pinkish red. So that's what shiny Dunsparce looks like. But now let's find a Pokemon to evolve. I think I'm going to evolve one of my Snubbles from yesterday. So yesterday we had the Snubble Limited Research event and I ended up getting seven shiny Snubbles total. Uh, six of those were from the research and one of them was from an incense during the event. And I also ended up getting a 100% IV Snubble as well. It wasn't a shiny, but uh, I did get a 98% IV shiny. So I think I'm gonna evolve that. And there we have it, a new shiny Gramble. This is not my first shiny Gramble or anything. I think it's my second one, but this one has 98% IV, so I couldn't pass that up. So yeah, I didn't film that Snubble event yesterday because it was kind of like the Safari Zone Philly event. I just wanted to play it alone. I took like the last week off from filming and just played the game by myself. So that was a nice little break, but okay, we got the evolution we needed, and now we can see what these encounters are gonna be. First encounter, come on. Oh, we got a Sudowoodo, could have been shiny, but it was not. Okay, now let's claim those 10 great balls, 500 Sardust, and now we have the big boy reward for part four, start encounter. Ooh, Mistrevis. So I was actually wrong at the beginning. I was saying that I thought all the different rewards were gonna be like rare evolved Pokemon. It doesn't seem like it's going with that theme this time. I've been getting non-evolved Pokemon from these uh, rewards, but either way, it doesn't matter. I just assumed it was gonna be all evolved Pokemon because it seems like it was mostly like that with the Kanto thing. Unless I'm remembering wrong, I think we got like a Clefairy on one of them, but most of them were evolved rare forms. Part five says to take a snapshot of your buddy, make four curveball throws and catch a fighting type Pokemon. So we got a fighting type Pokemon right here where we stand. Let's go ahead and get a curveball and catch him right now. And then we're gonna take a snapshot of my shiny Alolan Ninetales. I put AR plus mode on, so it should look a lot nicer. And on to part six. So now we need to catch an electric type Pokemon, power up a Pokemon three times, and catch a steel type Pokemon. Where am I gonna find a steel type Pokemon? I don't know, we'll see. But we're gonna do the power up a Pokemon three times first. Uh, let's power up by newly evolved Gramble. I love the new power up feature now too. It makes it a lot easier to get multiple power ups at once. So let's see what the reward is for that. We got a Mareep, so that helps with the electric type Pokemon. Now we just need to find a steel type Pokemon. I really don't know what's gonna be steel. Is it just going over my head or is there something from the Johto region that's steel that's spawning right now? I don't know, we'll look around a little bit and we'll see what happens. So I just had a big brain moment and decided I'm gonna use a magnetic lure module on this Pokestop right here and I should get a steel type Pokemon pretty quick. Um, wait a minute, is a little in Geodude steel type? Uh, no, it's rock and electric type, but I should be getting a steel type pretty soon from this lure, so that's really the best way I could think to do this. Um, maybe I could have tried to find like a clink raid or something, but why can I not think of any steel type Pokemon other than Steelix, but I don't think that's going to be in the wild, so I don't know. Maybe I'm just forgetting about a certain Pokemon, but I don't think I'm going to be finding a steel type right now. Okay, so just kidding. I am actually not big brain. I am small brain because I forgot that we have remote raids right now in Pokemon Go and I can do this clink raid from over here. I don't even have to go over to that gym. I've been trying to avoid that area because it's a hotel over there. I don't really want to be around any people. So this is amazing. I completely forgot about this. So let's use a remote raid pass and do this clink raid. Oh my God, I can't believe I didn't even think of this, but I still have that magnetic lure going. So who knows what I'll get from that. And 
we completed the clink raid just like that and now we can do a clink shiny check no shiny on that but that gets the steel type knocked out of the way so now let's claim that 500 stardust and now for the final reward for part six start encounter Skarmory, another shiny potential. These are actually spawning in the wild a lot right now, so I'm hoping I get a shiny one of these. I haven't grabbed one of those just yet since it came out, but that's another shiny to look for. I feel like these days, pretty much everything can be shiny, it seems like, so every event is one big shiny hunt, and I always love that. Now we have to evolve a Pokemon, catch a water type Pokemon, and catch an ice type Pokemon. So for the water type, I'll probably get a Totodile, and for ice type, probably a Swinub. So uh, first we're gonna evolve something since we're just standing here. Let's see, what can we evolve right here? We'll just do a random mystery vis. I don't really need the Sinnoh stones or anything. This probably is just gonna get transferred, but it doesn't really matter. So I'm on the lookout for a Totodile right now, but we actually have two Pikachus to shiny check. So let's snag this one first. No shiny, and then we're gonna check the other one right here. No shiny. Wouldn't it be really cool if the hat itself was shiny, if the Pikachu was shiny? Like, if you got a shiny Pikachu, the hat would be a shiny Umbreon, and same thing for like the shiny Charizard hat. That would have been really cool, but uh, I feel like that'd be a little bit too complicated, so that's probably never gonna exist. change of plans I found a chin chow instead of totodile but it works it was a water type so we got part seven completed now we get a king's rock and a special encounter we got a Gligar that could have been shiny I'm starting to notice a lot of things can be shiny but they aren't shiny I'm not having very good RNG luck lately except for in the limited research snubble event but that doesn't count because those odds were boosted so I feel like I'm overdue for a full odds shiny and now for the big boy reward we got a pilo swine. That's something I never see in the wild, so I never see it on the encounter screen like that. That was a pretty cool spawn. So now we're on part eight, and this is gonna be the last set of things that I need to do before we can claim the Ho-Oh encounter. So now we need to take a snapshot of an ice type Pokemon, battle another trainer, and power up a Pokemon six times. So let's go ahead and do the power up six times thing. Um, I'm actually gonna power this up a little bit more. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, that's perfect. I wanted it to be just below 1500. I don't know if Gramble is even good in the Great League of PvP, but in case I ever decide I want to use it against someone, I got it there. So we can claim that 500. Now we need to battle another trainer in the Great League. I'm going to do the Great League because that's the only PvP league that I'm even decent in. <laughs> and then we need to take a snapshot photo too. Now we have completed part eight. So we got a dragon scale and 10 ultra balls. And now we're gonna have one last special reward before the ho-oh. So let's see what this one's gonna be. Start encounter. We got a dawn fan. That is something I have not seen in the game in a long time. So now we gotta catch this. And I'm pretty sure part nine is going to be a bunch of rewards like last time. And one of those rewards is going to be a ho-oh. So let's hope we get that shiny ho-oh. And now it's the moment of truth, the big reveal. We're on part nine, and now we need to claim our XP rewards, and then we're gonna get that Ho-Oh encounter. Please, please, please be shiny. I will do anything. I think I've only ever gotten one shiny Ho-Oh in the past, so it would be great to get another one. So let's go ahead and start the encounter. Ho-Oh, shiny check. No, it wasn't shiny. Oh my goodness. I've been seeing so many people getting a shiny ho -oh from their research and I thought maybe I just had a chance. Oh man, I don't know why, but that breaks my heart so bad. I didn't get a shiny Mewtwo last week either, but of course that's just how it is. Um, if the odds are anything like raids, I think it's like one in 19 or something like that. I'm assuming it's the same odds. It could be different though. I'm not really sure. Can't confirm. 
but man I feel like we had a solid chance but we just didn't get lucky today so it's okay this research was really fun I can't wait to do the next one for the Hoenn region I think this is a really cool creative idea to give us something to do right now in this time of social distancing and not being able to play a lot so overall I still had a great day it's okay that it wasn't shiny it has bad IVs too but we'll forget that part okay guys so I guess that wraps it up for the Johto throwback challenge let me know in the comments down below how the event went for you did you get any shinies and did you get the shiny ho -O. and I guess I'm gonna close off this video right here so thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed it make sure you smash that like button hit subscribe if you're new to the channel to join my Gengar gang and I will see y'all in the next video bye